Welcome to another video by JustQuant.com. In this video we will have a look into how the concept of multiplication factor can be applied to the calculations of percentage increase and decrease. Before we discuss about the multiplication factor, let us look into the basics of percentages. If a quantity A is increased or decreased by K percent, we get the quantity B. Now the percentage increase or decrease can be calculated as shown. If B is greater than A, we have a percentage increase calculated by B minus A divided by A multiplied by 100. If B is less than A, we have a percentage decrease calculated by A minus B divided by A multiplied by 100. Now, the final quantity B is obtained when A is multiplied by 1 plus K by 100 in the case of percentage increase, whereas in the case of percentage decrease, it is obtained by multiplying A with 1 minus K by 100. The quantity with which A is multiplied, that is, 1 plus or minus K by 100, is called the multiplication factor. Here is an illustration of how these multiplication factors can be produced for different percentage rates. For 20%, the multiplication factor is A into 1 plus 20 by 100, which is A into 1.2. Hence 1.2 is the multiplication factor. Similarly for 30%, it is A into 1 plus 30 by 100, which is A into 1.3. For minus 20%, which is nothing but a 20% decrease, it is A into 1 minus 20 by 100, which is A into 0 0.8. Here is a tabular illustration of how multiplication factors are for the respective percentages. Each of them can be calculated using the same principle that was used earlier. Let us now consider an example. If John sells a product at 156 rupees, gaining a profit of 20% on his cost price, what is his cost price? Using the principle of multiplication factor, we can deduce that the profit of 20% implies that the selling price is 20% more than the cost price. Or, the selling price is 1.2 times the cost price. Hence cost price is selling price divided by 1.2 which is 130. Here is another example that deals with successive percentages variations. Salary of John increases by 3%, 6% and 9%. What is the overall percentage increase in his salary in 3 years? Using the same concept of multiplication factor, we can deduce that the final salary is the product of the original salary with the successive multiplication factors. That is, if we consider the original salary to be x, final salary is the product of x and 1.03, 1.06 and 1.09, which is 1.19006. So the final salary is 1.19006 times the original salary, or, the original salary is increased by 1.19, minus 1, multiplied with 100 or 19%. So with this, we shall end our tutorial on the use of multiplication factors in the calculations of percentages. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to avail and update yourselves with more of our videos. Thank you.